Yeah, we're rolling. Uh, hey guys. Hey. Talking about cross country boots today. We are. Uh, first off, actually, we have some some hot picks here. <laughs> exactly. This one. Uh, we have some very nice reviews on our webpage with uh, this one. It's for classic style. It's a combi boot. Yep. And the main reason why this is a very nice pick and so popular is that you get both the uh, the very nice and comfortable uh, liner. Yes. But you have a high cuff. A high cuff gives you more support. So this one is a nice pick for both beginners intermediate skiers and advanced classic skiers. Okay. Yeah. And I have, have, I that have one. actually the classic cross country. Yeah. Boot. The classic classic. The classic classic. Boot. Yeah. It's the Alpina T5 plus Touring. And the Touring actually says it's good for recreational mm -hmm. uh, cross country skiing. Yeah. And people in Finland, Netherlands and Norway really like this one. It's comfortable, it's an easy fit and it's nice and warm. So, yeah. let's dive into the different kinds of ski boots. But first of all, what should actually a cross-country ski boot do? Yeah, okay. Overall, a ski boot should connect you with this pin into the binding. Yes. And this should provide the very good power transfer from your energy down to the skis and to the surface. Yeah. The boot should provide you with warm and a snug fit. That's the main thing with the boot. Comfortability. Yeah, exactly. So the overview. Yeah. Um, overall, you can say we have classic style. Yeah. We have combi boots. Yes. We have skate style, and we have backcountry style. Those four different categories is the different boots that we have. This one first. This one first. The classic classic. This is as we talked about. This is the classic classic. It has a low cuff. And uh, it is very bendy, yeah, as you show there. Uh, the sole, the outsole is very soft, so it's very easy to kick backwards the forward motion. So um, that's a classic, this is an, an entry classic ski boot. Uh, this is the combi boot. Yep. It still has a, a fairly soft sole, mm -hmm. but it has this high cuff. Uh, therefore, you can use it for classic skiing. You can still bend the sole, yep. but you have this support. So if you want to skate, your side kicks is still controllable. And for classic, you have actually a bit more support. Yeah. And it's also nice for beginners, actually. This is a very nice boot to um, develop your skills with. This is more for recreational skiers that, well, I know I'm only going skiing uh, one time a year, something like that. Mm. Then this is a perfect pick. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about performance now, what? Performance. Skating. <laughs> this one. This is a really high performance skating boot. What the what the properties is with this one is it has a very stiff and uh, high cuff. The same as this one, but uh, besides that, it has a very stiff sole here. So it's it's not bendy. You cannot use it for classic skiing, but when you make those sideways uh, kicks, it's a perfect tool for controlling your skis. And I can see almost no uh, padding to, to warm your feet. Exactly. When you go uh, with a with a boot like this, you go very fast. You are going for competition and, and high speed training. And there you don't want a lot of uh, warmth mm -hmm. because you have a high pulse all the time. <laughs> um, yeah, so a, a snug fit with great power transfer. This is the main issue with this one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, there's one more. Yeah. Actually, Back to the classic uh, yeah. technique, right? Yeah. Uh, so that's the, the one that looks almost like a hiking boot yeah. and that you would use to go off tracks and um, it keeps you very warm yeah. and very comfortable also so that you can have uh, a nice experience uh, in, in the underwood yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. for, for many hours. Yeah. Right? yeah. You, that's so true. And you want also a high cuff here, um, both for the support in the varying snow um, snow conditions but also to to keep out the snow so um, it's very rough it's very solid but it's uh, very nice when you go out there young ways yeah we want to make some suggestion for you as a recreational skier maybe going once or twice a year for the more advanced skier and for competition skiers both for classic style and for skate style yes 
and maybe let's start again with the classic one. So this one actually really nice and flexible. So you can really concentrate on your technique there. Yeah, sure. And uh, if we open up here, we have, you can see there's a high lacing. That's actually very nice to have this cover. Yeah, yeah. so snow stays out and uh, you get some stability as well. And you can see there is a uh, insulate insulation. Mm -hmm. So it keeps you really nice and warm. And you can see that the, the, the padding is really nice and thick so that you stay warm and it's really comfortable to, to, to ski in this the whole day. Yeah. And you have the lacing all to the top here. So, so uh, support for, for beginners. This, this is still a, a classic boot. And you have the same system with the with the cover here, hmm. but when you open up, you see a lot of different things going on. It's very very low, almost like a, a soccer boot, um, and it's because you you don't need that when you have the technique. You don't need that high uh, of, uh, of support, um, but you want a, a more lightweight boot, mm -hmm. uh, and you want a, a very snug fit. So when you compare this one uh, with the other one that we just show. You can see that the lacing system is actually going down with connections down to to the side of the foot and it means that it will wrap around your foot much more so this one will sit much more tight than the other one this one would be a pick for uh, for an uh, intermediate to advanced skier it has a bit more stiffness in the sole as well again to it it is a classic boot but again to give a, a bit better power transfer yeah so performance is more in in focus here and it's less padding a bit less warm because the, the intensity is higher you go much faster and you don't need so much uh, padding for warmth yeah for sure okay christian this was now the cross crunchy ski boot classic yes for the intermediate to advanced riders mm -hmm. the performance hungry ones what what yeah. do, should they pick well get rid of that one and i'll only show you this one the, this one is, you see, a little holes Perforated all over. Yeah. So it's even easier to get rid of uh, sweats when you have this high pace. Mm -hmm. And uh, this one also has uh, carbon, carbon. Uh, carbon uh, panels yeah. here to make it even more stiff and very high, uh, lightweight. Mm -hmm. And then we have this, again, this wrapping going, you see, even further down. Yeah, it's all the way, so you get this perfect wrap around your foot. Um, very stiff in the sole, mm -hmm. um, and yeah, true performance, high speed, very good power transfer, lightweight. We want to talk about skating boots now, but uh, you sneaked another combi boot in here. Yeah. So, why is that? Well, it's because it's my opinion that if you want to, to get a bit more of knowledge about this skating style than a boot like this, a combi boot where you go from classic to skate style is a perfect way to start it. So that's a beginner skate boot recommendation for that you... Exactly. And this one, it's easy to see, it's the same as we talked about earlier with the, with the liner here. You have a very fit padding that goes all the way up. Mm -hmm. So it's, as this liner say, it's comfort. It's true. It's true. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then you have a, a high cuff, of course, and uh, you still have a flexibility for your classic style, but you can also have a good power transfer and control when you kick sideways with this one. Okay. But so, show me uh, now a true, true skate. Yeah. Take this one. And here we have a true skate. That's a big one. That's the big one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big size. Yeah. Um, here you have a much stiffer sole, again, you still have the, the high cuff, and then when you see inside here, the main difference is here. Oh. Again, you have a very nice wrapping around the foot yeah. with these uh, connections down to the side of the foot. And what you can see actually you have a high padding but low yeah. lacing. Yeah, so that's a new thing now. Yeah, but uh, it's because you have a very good control with this uh, power uh, band here. Yeah, the Velcro. Yeah, yeah the Velcro. And then the, also you see the padding is much more thin. Yeah. So again, you don't need this uh, insulation to keep the warmth because you have a much higher pace when you go with this kind of boot.
This one is the skate boot for the interview to advance riders. Mm -hmm. And now we need another power horse. Yes. What do we have there in the pipeline? We have this carbon beast here. This one. As we talked about earlier. Christian, but I want to sh yeah? How many boots do you have in your back pocket? 12. Nice. Okay, <laughs> continue please. <laughs> I want to show you, I want to highlight the main difference from this one for the very competition skier uh, for the other one. Uh, that we just had. You see, when we open here, it's very easy to see. Mm -hmm. Oh, the padding is just starting down here. Yeah. And with still, again, very good wrapping going, going all the way down yeah. here, connection points. Um, and it's super lightweight. So they took off all the um, all the fat, you can say, yeah. to to make this uh, as as stiff with the carbon here mm -hmm. um, and as lightweight. So the tra power transfer is the best one you can get with a boot like this. Like a race car. It is the Ferrari. Now we have talked about f finding the right um, skate boot for you. Now let's sum up. Okay, things to remember when going for a classic ski boot. If you are beginner, recreational skier, you would choose a bit warmer ski boot with padding and a soft flex, nice, nice and com comfortable. If you're an intermediate skier, you would go for a ski boot with a bit lower cuff and with less padding. And if you're very much into races, your classic ski boot would be a lightweight and with some carbon um, panels for uh, for optimized tra uh, power transfer. Going for the skate style, as a beginner you could choose a combi boot. They are both uh, comfortable with thicker padding and, uh, and a bit easier to control. If you are an intermediate to advanced skier, you would choose a boot that is a bit more lightweight and a bit more stiff. And if you are going for races again for your skate ski boot, you would choose a carbon ski boot with almost no padding and with a good wrap around your foot. Yes, just go to our website skipro.com. You will find a wide variety of all kinds of different uh, cross country ski boots. Uh, and if you are unsure what you should pick, just write us an email, give us a call and we find the right gear for you. He's right. Just that easy. Have fun. Bye. Skateboard.com. Did I say that? Go there. <laughs>